All right, everyone. So Adrian Wojnarowski, who was the one who initially broke the Hurley news, is now giving an update as to why he did not end up becoming the Lakers head coach. What drove him not to be? Here's what he had. To what can you tell us about how this all came to be? Uh, Shay, uh, Dan Hurley just informed his players, his administration, that he's turned down the Lakers job. He's going to remain at UConn, uh, chase a third straight national championship. I'm told he was offered a six-year deal worth $70 million. That would have put him among the top six uh, highest paid coaches in the NBA. The Lakers were relentless in their pursuit of Hurley, but ultimately, uh, his opportunity to make history at UConn, uh, to win a third straight title, uh, to do that for the first time potentially since the John Wooden UCLA teams uh, was too much uh, to walk away from at UConn. Obviously, back to back national championships, and Dan Hurley uh, was. Uh, really taken away by the Lakers' courtship. He spent Friday out in L.A. with his family, with Rob Polinka, Jeannie Buss, and there was a lot of momentum walking out of that room that night, I'm told, you know, that Dan Hurley very well could be the next Lakers coach. But he came back east, and ultimately, I think the timing of this, uh, again, with a team that's preseason top five, Alex Caravan, uh, his best returning player, returning to school, pulling out of the draft, a lot of factors. But you know, the NBA has always been an ambition of Dan Hurley's. And the chance uh, to talk to the Lakers, to be offered the Lakers job, and really sit with them on a vision of what it looked like, uh, this was not an easy decision for him. You know, He viewed this, I'm told, as really a once-in-a-lifetime offer. Now, he had already been talking with UConn about a new deal, uh, about a, another contract after winning his back-to-back -back title that will put him among the highest paid coaches in college basketball. Uh, but th they'll eventually, I'm told, finish that up. Uh, but the Lakers' money was substantial, uh, nearly $12 million a year. Uh, and again, Hurley thought long and hard about this. This is the 20th anniversary of the Lakers' courtship of Duke's Mike Krzyzewski. He stayed at Duke. And now Dan Hurley returns uh, to the two-time defending champion, Connecticut Huskies. All right. So th this is a pretty big deal. You know, um, he says a lot here, Woj, and I think it all kind of lines up and it makes sense. It, it, it's one of the reasons that when it was first reported, it was so shocking. You know, and it, it's funny because you could see how when it was first reported, it was like, this is crazy. Nobody was expecting a Hurley to leave UConn now. Nobody was expecting that because everyone's like, you just won two in a row. You know, leaving while you could win three in a row coming up or more seems like just something that you may live to regret, right? It's one of those things that you may leave and then you're like, man, we really could have won three if I had just done that. Not only that, but you have all these people. You you had Caravan returning to UConn and not going into the draft. You have all these people who you recruited. It just didn't seem like something that made any sense. But as the days went on and as it was reported that Hurley met with the Lakers, this became more and more of like, well, maybe I can see it. You know, maybe, maybe I would see it. And it's, you know, it's it's not shocking now that after all of this, after all the media reports, after all the talk show time that was spent on this, after everybody discussing was this going to be the thing, you know, first it was J.J. Reddick. It was hyperventilating about that. And, I, you know, we were like, hey, I don't think that's a good fit at all. Now he may end up being the coach, but then it went to hyperventilating about this and, you know, trying to figure out, oh, is this going to be the guy who goes there? And it turns out we're back to where we were before the reports with Hurley not being the one who gets the job. Now, this does, you know, we're going to cover, we're, we're, so please stay tuned to the channel. We're going to be looking at other little theories I've read now on from Twitter users and all this other stuff about what actually went on here, because this doesn't entirely add up like what adds up is Hurley not taking the job and that's what ended up happening but what doesn't add up is how we went from this Lakers interview to this you know because there's just like it just seemed like it just came out of nowhere and now figuring out that yeah it was really nothing it I don't know it's just it's a very weird um 
you know, it just seemed like there was a lot of smoke and for no fire to be there just is kind of a crazy turn of events. I, I don't know. Maybe people disagree with that. But, uh, you know, Hurley leaving just never made a whole lot of sense. I like, like we said, you know, we actually put that video up. You can go back and watch it. We thought Hurley leaving made zero sense. Then we watched, you know, John Fanta, college basketball reporter, went on a show. I forgot what show it was. And he made the case as to why Hurley may leave and even said he thinks he will end up leaving. And that we said in the video, we're like, he, this kind of makes sense. He kind of changed our mind a little bit. And it's and that's the thing that's frustrating is because we thought the whole time it's like, yeah, he's not going to leave. It doesn't make any sense for him to leave. He can win three in a row unless he's trying to basically, you know, not have to play a year with this UConn roster because he doesn't think they're good enough. And Fanta brought that up. He's like, hey, I don't know if this is the same team they've had in the past. Now, we'll, just because they're ranked highly, you know, that doesn't really mean a whole lot because when you rank a team like that highly – you might be factoring in a little bit of what they did the prior year, right? I think that was the main point is just because they're ranked highly, this is preseason rankings. You know, you, you don't actually know if that team is that good. And if they end up losing badly this year in terms of like they don't make a deep run, I mean, it's not really going to be a huge shot at early because, you know, he just won back to back. But people may look back on this and go, maybe you should just take in that Lakers job, right? So there's a lot of things that w we kind of got talked into a little bit, I think, but um, now we know that he will not be a Laker. So thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.